Hi everybody, this is Robin Kurt with Two Brothers Hobby, and we are taking a look at the High Tech E Hawkeye Weekender P to Go Powered Glider. Uh, they had the Hawkeye out years before this, or I say years. I say at least a year. It's been yeah, out maybe a while. year and a half. Yeah, two years. Been, yeah, maybe three. It's hard to say. Whatever you decide. We're just kind of throwing numbers out there right yep. now. Yep. They don't really have any merit, it's not any a substance. New for airframe. Yeah, it's not an airframe, but there they did go. update it by uh, offering the e Hawkeye, which is an electric powered glider, which is kind of cool. You have a small little format and you can get up to. Yeah, the other one was just a glider. You throw it and go. <laughs> 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 they required you to have an environment that's uh, complementary to glider. Stick and rubber band? Stick and rubber band, yeah. Nothing. Boomerang it. Oh, wow. um, okay. But yeah, you know, it's not practical. Gliders aren't practical throughout the nation, let's just say. And these flat. Plain states in the flat Midwest and a lot of the areas where we yeah. fly, of course, we need some way to get them up there so we can have fun with them yes. and play around. And that's the whole goal with the Hawkeye P to go. Uh, it's extremely, extremely simple to assemble. It's not even, it's not even worthy of a clinic or a assembly video. Um, you know, horizontal stabilizer pops right in, um, and your wing is one piece. You slip it through the fuselage, get it centered, and hook up your radio system and go. So. A very simple assembly. Let's go ahead and move on to the specs, Rob. Let's do it. You Kay. got them. High tech E Hawkeye P to go power glider, 22 inch wingspan, 93 square inch wing area, 6.5 ounces per square foot wing loading. Overall length is 20 and a half inches. All up weight, 4.2 ounces. The motor is a 2200 kV brushless outrunner. The prop is a 5.5 by 3 folding. ESC is a little tiny 6 amp. The required battery is 400 to 450 milliamp 2S 7.4 volt LiPo. Radio system is a 3 plus channel TX and RX, so, you know, four channel radio system. Price at the time of this review is $99.98. Um, transmitter, two brothers set up Aurora 9X, which is gross overkill for this aircraft, but it's always nice. Your favorite radio. Minima 6L light for the receiver. The flight battery was a TP480 2S PP25J. That's a 480 milliamp 2S 25C 7.4 volt light bulb. Tiny little battery. Um, CG placement, stick the battery where it'll stay and throw it in the air That's and fly right. it. Um, trim it up a little bit, yep. or trim it a little bit. You may have to, we found we had to do a little bit of up elevator trim to get it to uh, to stop diving. But keep in mind, power gliders, when you throw the coals to them or you throw the power plant on, they usually they're going to lift, you know, yep. they're going to lift on you. So you trim it out really when you power off and you're gliding. You want to get the best possible loft and loiter time. So sure. you trim it to where it just kind of, you know, yep. has a nice even descent. Um, uh, unless you catch thermals or whatever, but it's so tiny, you're not going to get way up there with the Hawkeye. It's going to disappear on you. Yeah. So let's go ahead and take a look at the flight footage. Uh, again, we flew this uh, on a windy day, which is fine for an aircraft like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to see some of its tendencies really be highlighted in that wind, that crosswind, yeah. your downwind yeah. turns, your upwind turns. Um, uh, it, it's you're going to see that it, it has some some pretty good stability in certain circumstances and uh, and cruises along pretty nicely. Yeah, so it does. Come back after the flight footage. Make sure you check out part two for the review scoring.